In our assignment, we're asked to resize and color some headings in our newsletter, and we're going to explore a few ways to do that. So first, we need to resize the headings. We're gonna take this first heading, and we're gonna make it 18 points. And you can use a little selector to do that. We're gonna take also the second heading, and you can just type in 18, that's another option. So now our headings are the correct size but we want to have an, an orange colored heading. So with the heading, first heading selected, we're going to go over here to this color, the text color area, and we're gonna click on the color wheel. This brings up the current color of the heading, which is black, but we're looking for an orange color. So we're gonna go first to this pencils, and we find that they do have an orange color. I'm gonna go ahead and select it and it changes the heading to orange. However, that heading is very difficult to read. There's not enough contrast. And I don't have another good option in these pencils. So I'm gonna select that heading, and I'm gonna to go to this color wheel. And it shows you the where the current color is on the wheel, but it also has a slider down here that will allow you to add more black to your color, which will make it a little easier to read. So let's go ahead and slide this over a little bit and get a little bit darker orange color. So now that's a little easier to read. So how do we match that exact same color on the second one? We don't, we just kind of slid it over. We don't know how far we slid it over. Well, one of the options is you can select this heading and you can use this little eyedropper down here. This eyedropper will allow you to match a, an existing color on your document. So just make sure you get the little midpoint right in the middle of the dark color and click it and now the two colors are exactly the same. So let me show you another way we can accomplish the same thing. I'm going to turn these black back to black. We can go to this, um, these text, I mean these color uh, choices and there's an orange there as well but it's still not, we don't have the color that we really want and we're wanting a custom color. We could do the same thing again but Let's say your company, the work that you work for has a branded, has a style guide that has branded colors that they use. So your company has told you the branded color that they want to use. So we're gonna apply that to these headings. So let's go back down to the color wheel. And this time we're gonna go to the RGB sliders. Now there's some other ones in here. If you're not on there, just pick RGB sliders. And right down here is a hex color. In this case, our company uses, the orange color is D47022. And we're going to apply that by simply typing in the hex color. You can color the second heading by typing in the hex color again. So I hope that helps explain how to use colors, text colors in pages.